What's up, everybody? We got some cool stuff here. VCG resins. A little update on the Porsche. Got a cool little video coming at you here Saturday morning. Got my morning coffee going before work. Hope everybody's had a good week. Hopefully, you're going to get a good weekend in. So, let's go ahead and get a word in from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. What's up everybody? Paul here, Left Coast Model Car Builds. Happy Saturday. Hope you guys have had a good week. Hopefully you got a good weekend on tap. Myself, I want to get a little video out for you here. Then I got to get ready to go to work. And then hopefully we'll be back on the bench here this evening, later on tonight. In the meantime, some really cool stuff here. Let's welcome Josh, VCG Resins. as part of the Left Coast family here. He's picked up the channel, newest sponsor really cool love josh's stuff if you've watched the channel you've seen me uh showing off some of his stuff for a while now really like uh, what he puts out the quality of it's awesome we've got some of his stuff spread out on different projects here so as those come into uh, completion you'll see some of the finished finished results kind of thinking about using his 409 and this old 62 we'll see but definitely got some cool stuff in mind for it you know josh is someone we've kind of text emailed off and on for a while just chatting about parts the hobby really cool guy great vibes a lot of mutual friends so it worked out really cool couldn't be more pleased to have him aboard and have the opportunity to work with Josh and VCG resins really cool as I told him this channel is just it's really opened up a lot in the sense of friendships networking stuff I, I never would have seen seen going here so it's been a blast really appreciate really appreciate all the followers subs viewers people that enjoy the channel thank you with that let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video here so quick update on the Porsche so far looking pretty cool um, this I mean I'm it's not fancy it's just basically box stock you know it's a curbside or at least my definition of a curbside I think it came out pretty good as far as I was a little worried about the body so when you're doing body work on some of the kits some of the AMT stuff where your shaving handles emblems you can kind of get away sometimes I'll cut them off with a blade and then go over it with different grits of plastic working it down primer and you're fine with this because the handles were actually indented what I did is carved them out used some filler blocked it down a number of times and uh, don't you know again this kind of gets back to taking the time right so my initial thought was well it's going to be a curbside i'm going to do it in a light color so i can get away with something i'm glad i took the time i think this got blocked out probably about three times i <clears throat> i did it the initial once or twice and i think pop saw it sitting on the bench and he actually took and blocked it down once as well and all that really makes a difference you can see being a dark color you're not getting you know any wobbles in there it's flat and uh, what I mean by flat is the body so when you look at a car from the side and you have a lot of ripples through 
definitely means it could use some more blocking. And you see the same in model stuff, especially with dark colors. So very happy with that. I'm hoping sometime next week to have that done. This week, a lot of the bench time that we've gotten in, the kids and I, it's been organizing, straightening out the bench, trying to uh, still get adjusted in here. You know, if I'm myself or the kids working on something, then having to go run into the garage to grab something, which is fine, and we still do some work in there as well. But it'd be really nice to have this just dialed in with everything where, where it's all here, and that's takes a little bit of time. Um, other projects we have going, I'm not going to dive into all those right now, but probably next week, maybe Sunday's model cars and coffee video, and we'll do an update on that. I'm not sure yet. But fun stuff between uh, VCG, Iceman, I couldn't be happier to have those gentlemen aboard. Great guys, great products. And I'm seeing a lot of the stuff when I look at my projects now has Iceman, VCG, or both tied into them. So it's going to be really cool to see these come into completion with those parts. Second thing I wanted to touch on, my buddy Leon, Model Cars 1589, had posted a community question about two weeks ago. I've been, I actually started my response to this that day when my uh, grandson came running in, running in here. So it kind of shifted the video. So I want to get a response out to that. As far as planning, you know, what do you do with your builds? Do you just dive into them? Do you plan them out? I would say for myself, a little bit of both. There's part of me that can see a kit, have a number of ideas and just kind of dive right in and see what direction it goes in. And there's another part of me that's been working a lot harder on planning things out taking it more like when we're working on the one-to-one -one stuff and I guess a good example is with VCG resins Iceman collections I have kits over here now some that are old projects I've started some I have not that I want to do that I'm taking something like like this and just setting it inside the box or in a Tupperware with it for the idea kind of the vision I have and I think that really helps out in the build. I mean, for me at least, especially trying to get back to building more detailed, more, uh, I don't know if I'd say cleaner. I, I like to think most of my builds are fairly clean, but I think having that vision definitely helps me out. It's easy for me to get going on something in one direction and then I hit the brakes because I have to go find something or think about what I want to do and that's probably one reason why I have a lot of stalled projects so hopefully between posting updates on builds and things like that it'll help keep me accountable to work through them not saying I won't have any stalled projects but I think going in that direction Similar to what Leon was saying, you know, he plans on attending more shows, contests. So he mentioned really taking each part of the model and making it like its own little model. And uh, my buddy Chris and I were talking about that. Chris is a phenomenal builder. And you could look at like a blower, blower drive on one of his and it's like its own little model. And that's where I'm trying to get to. I'll probably, I'll never build to that you know that uh quality or level that he does is just way out of my league but i do want to push myself to put out the best models i can i know for a long time i've gotten to stuff where i've hit a point and i've either put it away or just pushed through where i was not 100 percent satisfied just saying well i just want to get this thing done at this point and move on so i'm trying to get away from that mindset and I really do want to put out some great quality builds. I'm hoping by the end of this year, that's what I'll have are two to three detailed builds, at least for what I'm used to doing. And then we'll still do some curbsides as well. So it'll be fun. That's kind of a shift I'm doing. So hopefully that answers your question, Leon. I appreciate the question. It's a great one. And I, I apologize for the delay in the response here. 
I've been meaning to get it out. I This is the third time I've started videos, and this will be the one that gets out. So that was my question, to, or my answer to Leon's question. So with that, guys, I hope everybody's had a good week. Like I said, kids and I have been cleaning up in here. I've been working on a few things uh, just for the channel, some ideas and stuff like that. Uh, Tuesdays, like I said, probably going to shift a little bit, still do some resin stuff, but I don't know if it's going to be strictly resin review Tuesdays. We'll see. But otherwise, I might get a little bit of work in before I head out to work. We'll be back later out here on the bench. We'll get our video ready for Sunday morning, model cars and coffee. I appreciate so many people jumping in on that. Uh, very fun. Like I say, it's for me at least. You, you can do it however you want. It's it's just it, it's uh, just something I threw out there as a way to have fun. A simple for me, it's a simple video. Really, no editing. It's like if you were sitting here at the bench with me and we we're just talking shop. You know, it could be the same. So to me, it could be the same model. It could be a project. It could be an idea. If you're going through a slump just it's community chatter is the way i look at it for me i try to keep them short sweet simple and just have fun and i'll tell you the last few weeks you know the first few weeks i was able to come out sunday morning have a couple cups of coffee work on something watch everybody's videos now man it's taken me all week to get through them which is awesome i love it i'm glad people are jumping in there posting them i'm having a blast watching them throughout the week so with that guys we're going to call this good. Make sure you check out our sponsors, our page supporters. Newest one to the family again, VCG Resins. You can jump over there, use the code LEFTY, L-E-F-T-Y, 10, to get yourself a little discount. Iceman Collections, awesome stuff. Go over there, use Left Coast 10, get yourself a discount. Scale Finishes, all your paint. Go over there, Left Coast 10, get yourself a discount. Make sure you check out our other friends and I guess who we're affiliates with. You know, ProTech, Hobby Nut Models, Mark over there's got great stuff. Everything from aircrafts, tanks, military stuff, into the cars, tools, aftermarket parts. There's a link down here. Check it out in the description. Go over there, stock up on everything. Mark's a great guy. Good shipping, good turnaround. Yeah, great great guy to do business with over there. So check them out. Gallery airbrushes, really cool stuff. I've been loving mine. Got the fan cap on there. It works awesome for spraying bodies. I'll tell you that. So check everybody out. Don't forget about Luke over there at Customs Illustrated. Huge contributor to the channel with all the magazines. He just sent me some of the most recent new issues that dropped. He sent me some extras to send out, so we'll be doing that as part of the 3K giveaway that will be coming up probably next week. We'll have some stuff out on that. So everybody, enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy your weekend. If we don't catch you later, we'll catch you tomorrow for Model Cars and Coffee. Have a good one, everybody. Catch you all later.